The study done by Elena Biva and her colleagues is so groundbreaking because it's the first time we can say that when you look at the benefits of hearing aids in the long term, it's not only about hearing better, it's also about how your mental health develops. What is the most important result from your study? What we show in uh, our study is that uh, hearing impairment is associated with accelerated cognitive decline. That's a result which was actually suspected. And the second finding, which was very important, is that people with hearing impairment but using hearing aids actually experience the same cognitive decline as those people who does not have hearing impairment, which means that it's only people with hearing impairment but not using hearing aids that experience such accelerated cognitive decline. And that was a, that's a novel result. Can you explain what cognition means? Well, cognition is the way our brain treats information. Uh, so it's, it includes uh, abilities to remember, of course, it includes our ability to focus attention on relevant information of our environment. It includes language abilities. So cognition is the way how brain treat information. So what is it that happens in our brain if we ignore hearing loss? We can suspect that uh, hearing impairment in elderly people entails uh, social isolation we know that these people generally are more depressed, uh, have uh, less social and leisure activities, so we can make the hypothesis that hearing aids are by restoring communication abilities uh, probably acts against such cognitive decline. Hearing impairment has uh, a huge influence on the way our brain functions. Hopefully, this study will contribute to break the stereotypes that we have regarding aging and hearing impairment. These results show that we can improve quality of life of people, of elderly people. I hope it will contribute to change our vision, maybe, of aging and hearing impairment. And for people who are clinical practitioners trying to help people with their hearing loss, is there any advice you can give to them? I hope that uh, this, uh, this study, the results of this study, will convince them that uh, it's not because you are 80 uh, that uh, experiencing hearing impairment is normal and you have nothing to do, so you have to give up because they have the po uh, possibly an opportunity to, to improve their quality of life. Mm -hmm. So it's never too late to act against hearing impairment to intervene. But I would say the sooner you treat hearing impairment, the better for your cognition. I can't help thinking about this um, on a personal level. What should I do to age well? There are very simple advices, of course. You have to care about your health. You have to experience pleasure, to have positive emotional experiences, because we know that such experiences are associated with successful cognitive aging. And probably hearing, hearing is one of the barriers uh, that you can have to, to experience such, uh, such moments of pleasure, of social sharing and so, so on. So, based on your study, do you have some advice for people with hearing loss? I think they have to care about it. Of course, uh, aging, well, uh, stereotypes associating with aging uh, implies that elderly people do experience 
hearing impairment. It's perfectly normal. Of course it is normal. It is very frequent. About 80% of people aged 80 and over experience uh, hearing impairment. But at the same time, we do not have to give up and consider that this is an, a matter of fact and it's unavailable. Because now we know that hearing impairment is associated with uh, greater cognitive decline. We have to care, they have to care about it.